Hey everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we're going to be doing the yearly room tour video that I do, um, usually after the semester ends. So I just want to show you some of the cool stuff I've been working on. I know last year the video was about 30 minutes, so I'm going to try to cut that in half this year. Let's just get into it and we'll move along. Okay, so the first display we have here is my main display on the side when you walk in. And we have some sets. I'll just kind of go through these. And I've also integrated a lot of my custom builds. So we have, you know, obviously UCS Slave 1. And then we've got some new stuff here. We have Ahsoka Invader on Malachor. And then Obi-Wan Invader from the show. And then Obi-Wan Invader from New Hope. Um, those are all mocks there. And some others, we have Kylo Ren Shuttle as like my main display piece. And then Jedi and Sith with the uh, Phantom Menace Duel of the Fates. And some other sets there. Dark Trooper Attack with an addition of Moth Gideon and the Mandalorian. And some other scenes from Star Wars, the Rogue One ending, and then Crate. Uh, we have kind of my Hoth display with 2014 Adat and Hoth Wampa Cave and the new um, the battle packs from a year ago. Those are great sets. And then here is one of my favorite sets, the Ewok Village. We have custom Endor Bunker based on the 2010 version, or the 2009 version rather. I'm probably going to update that this year and the custom ATST to go along with it. And I think that all works very nicely. Nice display. Uh, behind here, we do have a few other things. We have the uh, new Death Star promotional set. And then I have some lightsaber blades, other parts. So go down a layer, we have the other sets here from the original trilogy. I've kind of organized them so they're in order and we have like the training sequences Dagobah and Octo Island and then down here we have some more ships and vehicles we have the Knights of Ren Transport and A-Wing Tansif 4 and then the new one I added was the Nebulon B Frigate that is a excellent set um, and then we have some more original trilogy stuff uh, 2018 X-Wing the new TIE Fighter, and then 2014 Star Destroyer with a custom Tansa 4 there. So those look pretty cool together. And that's what this shelf is. This is kind of like my original trilogy shelf and vehicles. Uh, we do have some more stuff over here from the original trilogy, though. We have my carbon freezing chamber, and this is one that I've updated over the years. I've kind of added some tiles and refined it in a few areas so i'm pretty happy with that best been dual love that set as well and then the sequel trilogy we have my exegol throne i love this mock that i made a couple years back it still holds up very well von ranks tie and then some other sets uh and then some republic vehicles here custom republic frigate based on Fukusaku's design, um, Mr. Idler's Delta 7 there for Plo Koon. Very cool. And then this is the prequel shelf. So I'm sure many of you will be excited for this one. We have obviously my Geonosis Arena mock. Go check that video out. It is by far my best build to date. And then Naboo and the uh, Geonosis Duel. And then we have Palpatine's Arrest and then a custom uh, Senate pod there with Yoda and Palpatine. We have a midi scale Venator and some other sets there. This is probably the coolest shelf I think I have with the Revenge of the Sith vehicles and uh, the invisible hand just works really, really well together. And then obviously the awesome Anakin versus Obi-Wan mock that I did looks great with all those other sets and then lastly over here we have some more republic vehicles atrt atte 
turbo tank. And then this is, um, I haven't done a video on this, but this is the little command station from Kashyyyk. And I just haven't really gotten around to making a video, but yeah. So that is the main display with all my sets. I'll work my way around and then we'll come back to the closet. So over here, this is like my shrine of Anakin Skywalker stuff. We have Jedi Temple March with 501st Troopers. And then my NeoPixel, um, all right, sorry, my LGT Anakin Skywalker Revenge of the Sith lightsaber hilt. This is like my crowning jewel of my collection. I really love that. Um, then we have the new Imperial Super Star Destroyer. Love that in the V scale. And some, uh, some minifigures down there, Harry Potter and Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, we have Darth Vader's helmet with a custom mouthpiece. And this is pretty cool, it's just the rock. I can't remember the exact type, but it is a Darth Vader helmet. And just kind of goes along with my other Darth Vader stuff here. Darth Vader's castle. And a Scout Trooper helmet. And then, what's that? A Grogu. Uh, and then some other stuff over here. Just got my AirPods and glasses and whatnot so yeah that's pretty much it up there um and then obviously my name my youtube channel name is new england four i'm a huge boston sports fan and yeah i have a tom brady piece there and julian elman and then this is usually filled up with other stuff but i just kind of cleared it out for the time being got a han solo keychain and then that was from i believe the first may the fourth promotion pretty cool uh, we have the Black Series Ray Skywalker lightsaber. This is a really, really nice uh, lightsaber hilt. And I got it on sale, um, I think last Black Friday. One of my favorite designs, definitely from the sequels. Uh, we have my laptop, Acer Printer Helios. I'll probably be upgrading that soon as I've just graduated college uh, with an, a civil engineering degree. So. Um, and then over here we have some more sets you're probably interested in the MTT there. Definitely one of my favorites. We have Moss Eisley Cantina, the 2019 Millennium Falcon, and then some minifigures in here. There's some really cool ones. We got obviously the Clone Troopers. And again, if you're looking for more detailed um, in-depth comparisons of these, you can find them on my channel previous room tours or other reviews. We have R2 and BB-8. And then up here, up top, we have my Anakin Skywalker lightsaber hilt and Grogu and Yoda. So this is probably the coolest part right here though that I've been working on over the past couple months. This is my mosaic display. And I've added Anakin Skywalker and Ahsoka Tano. I actually updated that one. And I am super happy with this. And it's right next to my Profi Neo Pixel Saber that's lit up there. You can probably hear it humming in the background. Um, very, very cool. I'll turn that off for the time being. But these look so great together. I'm really happy with those and how they came out. I'll probably do a separate video on them if you're interested in figuring out how to make them for yourself. But totally worth it if you can get your hands on those. Um, I do have an air purifier over there just to clear out dust. Um, some other things, we have some Star Wars logo that is designed there. We have a childhood Star Wars poster, one of my favorites. Uh, I do have four pets, so that makes it quite a challenge when trying to keep dust out of my stuff. All right, so in the closet over here, we have some other things. We have the new... Helmets. This is the Commander Cody. Love those two helmets there. There's the Captain Rex, by the way. Uh, Death Star Trench Run. And then this is where I store all of my heavily used parts. So we have like Technic in here, some, you know, black border pieces. This is from my Geonosis mock. All the extra orange, dark orange pieces in there. And then Organized by color, so these are like black, dark bluish gray, light bluish gray, and then it goes down there into bigger pieces. 
this is my backlog, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> I usually try to go through these, but I don't have space for everything at the moment, so I, you know, just keep stuff sealed for the time being. I did have some of these clone packs that I wanted to go through. Um, this bin is full of studs from the mosaic sets. Um, there's nothing too interesting back here. There's a little promotional thing. That case was from the um, Anakin Skywalker lightsaber hilt that you saw earlier. Uh, I have Dagobah training, Obi-Wan's hut, and then this is the Lars homestead back there. You can kind of see that. Um, and I also have the UCS Millennium Falcon in this big box right here. And the UCS Gunship, and I, I really want to display those at some point. I just don't have the space and wanted to get them before they retired, so that was the best I could do. Obviously, I have Hogwarts. Love this thing. It's amazing. I know it's not Star Wars, but it is a fantastic set. Very happy to have that. These are my minifigures over here. We have just some random ones, Harry Potter, and then... This is like TV shows, um, some of the holiday ones in the sequel trilogy, original trilogy, and then some prequel stuff. And then this one is my clone army. So we have like some five of first troopers. I'm hoping to use these at some point. And some three thirty second troopers. I used those, I believe, in a couple mocks. Um, but I also... With those, you saw the phase one clone troopers in the back there. I have a couple of those. That's one of the reasons why I haven't opened the other ones. Um, but yeah, then down here we have some books. There's some more parts and stuff down here. Promotional items. Um, yeah, just, just the last stuff again. I've kind of showed some of this in previous videos, but down there is just like storage. Um, up here I have like some of the boxes that I've kept over the years. So ARC 170 box is probably the oldest one there um, from when I bought that set used. And then just kind of try to display those so they look nice. Um, but I do recycle them every once in a while and go through them. I, yeah, I have the Nebulon box up there and the Bespin Duel. Those are two good ones. And I just got some other sets up here, promotional items. This is not Lego. This is Kobe. Titanic. I've done a video on that. And then the uh, camper van. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the closet. Um, I try to, again, maximize my space best I can. But uh, I think that's pretty much it for in there. And then we'll take a look at the last section, which is uh, my storage. So people store their stuff differently. Um, I have a lot of sets here under my bed just so I can keep them dust free. We have some mosaics. Um, there's some older sets, newer sets, Bad Batch Shelly. You can see the, that's a 2006 X-Wing. Um, let's see if I can take this out a little more. You can see some base plates. And then there's the old Ahsoka mosaic. It's a good mosaic. I just, I really like the other one a little bit better and I haven't found space for the other ones quite yet. Um, yeah, so we got the Mandalorian Starfighter and some more sets. Moff Gideon's Cruiser, that's a good set. I just haven't really found space for these, unfortunately, which is a shame, but I also don't want to get dust on them, so we keep them in here. It works all right. Again, we have some more parts here. And then in this bin, we have even more stuff. Some other stuff. This is a mosaic I was working on. I don't think I'm going to finish this, but it was like a clone trooper. Kind of neat. And then um, got some instruction manuals and just some more assorted sets. These are probably the newer sets there. You can see like the trash compactor and yeah, just some sets I haven't gotten to. And then lastly, my instruction manual bin. This thing is loaded full, so I'm not going to dig that out, but... That's pretty much it. Um, so I've been working on this space for about four years now. Really committed to working on this space. Um, 
I obviously will be moving out soon. I'm doing a master's program, so I'll be here for about one more year, but eventually we are gonna move into a larger space. Um, it's just kind of cool to see how this space grows over time. I'm really, really happy with this display, especially with all my mocks and sets displayed together. I think it looks amazing. Um, but unfortunately, I just don't have a ton of space right now for new sets, which is kind of where I'm at. Like, you know, this Star Destroyer, like, is a great set, and I try not to make it not as cluttered. And sometimes it's just unavoidable based on, you know, the space you have, so... Um, I am thinking about adding potentially more mosaics in this space and just moving some stuff around. But for the most part, this is, I think, as good as I'm going to get for a while. It's definitely a blessing to have all of these sets together. And I hope I can keep them together for the most part, you know, when if I get a new space. Yeah, guys, so that's pretty much it. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. Um, I'd be happy to answer them. If you're looking for more detailed information on any of these sets, um, I've done past room tours and I've talked about them. If you enjoyed, definitely check out some of the other content on my channel. Uh, you know, if you're interested in anything you see or you have any suggestions, feel free to like, subscribe, and share around. I am on Instagram. If you are wanting to see, like, behind the scenes when I'm not uploading videos, because sometimes I get pretty busy. Um, at New England Force. So other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope to talk to you guys again soon, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.